If you would love to find out about the weekly guidance from the 4th to the 11th of Feb, stay tuned. This is a really, really powerful week as we go into the phase of the moon of the disseminating moon, which is asking us to receive all the delicious goodness. And then we go into the third quarter of the moon, which is asking us to breathe. So if you want to find out more, keep watching. Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode. This is a brand new series. Every Sunday, I'm going to be uploading your weekly guidance for the week ahead. So I really hope that you enjoy the series. If this is something that you want to see, then please hit that like button right now. All right, let's get into it. So we are already one day into the disseminating moon, which is all about receiving that delicious goodness. By the way, these are beautiful moon cycle, uh, moon phases of the moon cards that my beautiful friend Joe from the moon underscore journal created. Like check out this picture. This is like one of my favorite pictures. Anyways, she's truly amazing and I just love her work. So I have these little cards on my altar and I thought I'd bring them into today's reading to give you kind of like a visual cue. So we are already one day into the disseminating moon, which is the receiving. So your affirmation for this time is, I receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. Like how delicious does that sound? Okay. And then as we go progress further down the week, when we get to the 8th of February, then that is asking us to breathe, which is the third quarter of the phase of the moon, which is really beautiful. You can just say, I breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. When you actually give back, that is keeping the balance of giving and receiving. You don't have to give in necessarily in terms of monetary. It could be giving of your time. Um, it could be, you know, giving a gift. You maybe going to make a cake for someone, or you know, maybe you're going to like make your partner this beautiful cup of stovetop coffee because that's what he loves. And well, that's really what my partner loves. So I'm going to be doing more of that for him during that time. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to today's reading. So. We're going to start with the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. And let's see what we need to know for the week ahead. Holy crap, that fell out quick. Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's crazy because whenever I read for you guys, the cards literally just fly out. The first, we got two cards that fell out. The first one that I saw was Child, which is beautiful because this actually has come up quite a number of times. Ah, and then the second card is joy. Okay, both of these cards together is saying, um, the child card can be taken so many ways. It could be nurturing that beautiful inner child, or it could be, if we're into the receiving phase, it could be um, either some of you may be getting pregnant, some of you may be, um, you have been working on this new project, like babies as in like a new energy, something new that you've been creating. Um, so you're going through this time and some, and these things that you have been working on are coming to fruition. Maybe this is a time where you are, I just feel like this is a time to nurture the inner child, but then the, the child also is about um, vibrating in pure positive energy in, and embracing that childlike um, wonder and awe. If you watch my Instagram stories from, when was it? From Friday, oh my gosh, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, you totally need to get onto that. Um, I was literally at the beach just Oh, it was raining by the way, and I needed to go to the beach because I hadn't been outside in like three days. I know, balance, I haven't found it yet. I am finding my balance every single day. Oh, how could I say that? With each and every day, I am learning to find my balance. So you always have to choose a better feeling thought. Um, and yeah, so it was raining and I needed uh, salt water to cleanse my crystals from the full moon. Um, so I took my umbrella, I went out on a magical adventure and I was literally with my umbrella like skipping around like this and oh, it was so much fun. So I feel like this new project or this new pure positive energy that you're it's going to give you pure joy. Whatever is coming up and what is like happening to you at the moment, this is like a time of pure positive energy. If this is a new project that you're starting and you're getting overwhelmed, then your angels are saying, 
You need to totally up your self-love practices. You need to make time. If you don't have time, then you need to make even more time because when things get crazy and you get overwhelmed, then this is totally not good for your vibration. Isn't that interesting? What comes up when you see that card? Joy. So, that's interesting. I'm so excited to read the comments to see what comes up for you guys. All right, let me pull from a different deck. So, so far we've got child and we have joy. So maybe this new project or this new, I think maybe some of you may be pregnant. There's, there's just so much involved in a general reading. But whatever is happening with the child element, it's like you're receiving some of that goodness now. So I feel like you, some of you have been doing like a lot of work to prep yourself for this stage. You've been releasing your blockages and saying, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for me. I release, I surrender myself to the process and set myself free. And I think once you get to that stage and you have found that release and now you're receiving some abundance, it's like, this is a really joyful time for you. Oh my God, let's go on. All right. This is the, uh, oh, I was going to say the numerology deck. I was, I was looking at the numerology where I picked up the other deck, but I was like, I normally go that way. I'm just going to go with it. All right. This is the numerology deck from Michelle Buchanan. Let's see what comes up for the weekly guidance for the fourth. No, was it the 5th to the 11th of February? What does my MK Love fam need to know? Oh, by the way, if I haven't told you, this is a general reading, so just take from this what feels right for you, especially if you're new to the channel or the MK Love fam. Oh, I just had three cards just fall. There's so many, I don't know what to choose. Okay, I feel like there could be a time through this week that things are gonna be a little bit overwhelmed, like you're juggling. See how many cards fell up then, and then I've got some more on the side. So I'm just going to do that again. Just one card, please, angels. One card. Thank you very much. Ooh, okay, so your environment is so important. I th first thing I heard was toxic. Um, some of you feel like the environment that you're in, is this giving you joy? It, do you need to spend more time going outside so you can experience, I don't know, I, I know a lot of you are entrepreneurs and I feel like this new project that you're working on, it's like you're starting to receive some of the delicious goodness, but it's, um, I'm a little bit overexposed here. Um, I feel like it, it may be a little bit overwhelming for you. So your angels are saying, okay, well, change your environment. What can you change in your environment? It could be something as simple as like moving one of your house plants next to your desk while you're working. It could be going outside to change up the environment. It could be dressing to energetically match the vibration that you want to attract. So if you're looking for work, don't just stay home and look like you're in your sweats or in your gym clothes and your sloppy clothes. Maybe this is something where you need to make an effort. I don't know, that's totally random where that came up, but. Okay, let me just, I just pulled this, let's just get this deck to get more clarity. Interesting week. So it's about breathing and receiving. Okay, what else do we need to know, angels? What do my MK Love fam need to know from the 5th to the 11th of Feb during this time? What? The love is coming. Love is in the air. Holy crap. This is really beautiful. So some of you are pregnant. Oh my god. Okay. So this is, um, I'm kind of like, um, don't have any words. Okay, so the lovers card is like, you, your partnership is developing, like it's just this really strong bond that you are creating. For those of you couple, this could be, you know, this could be like the child card, like you could actually, well, a lunar eclipse is a really powerful time in which 
these massive life events can happen. Obviously, they can happen at any time, but it's an even more powerful time to conceive in. In regards to conceiving with, I'm stuck with this one because it's general. For those of you that are single, maybe this is a time where you find a new relationship. Well, we are in the... Oh, my goodness. This is a really beautiful time, guys. Like, what, what comes up when you see that one? I know there's a lot of you who have just left really crappy relationships and you're like, you know what? This is not serving my highest good. Um... This is the heart chakra. You got two really green, green cards. I would totally up your green intake, by the way. As green is um, when you're eating foods in the color of each chakra, it helps to re um, like release any blockages. Um, I'd be eating lots of leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables um, to nurture this time because it's like love heals all blockages. Maybe some of you have been waiting for ages to find this relationship or if you already couple, I feel like your relationship is about to take on a new level. It could be, the child could literally be like engagement as well. Um, as in your whole environment is changing, your world is changing. Oh my God. I'm gonna get another card from the tarot to see more clarity because for those that are not coupled, and are not looking. Damn it, I just missed that. Hold on. Let me just. I'm getting all flustered now. Okay, angels, one card. Okay, okay, we got two. Well, we got three. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, we got three cards. I wasn't meant to pull that many cards, but these have fallen out, so I'm just gonna go with it. So the first one is the three of air. Three of air. Can you see? It's like it's like two mama bears, uh, mama and papa bear, and there's like a little baby. So it's like this is like I feel like this is the child energy. Um, it says great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself and others. So maybe you're not receiving what you want. That's what I feel. I feel like some of you, whatever is happening to you. It, it is literally preparing you for what you want. So you need to just surrender to that process and just say like, I've been hurt so bad and it just makes me so upset to think about that I'm even in this situation, but I know deep within my soul that my angels wouldn't do this out of a place of hatred because they have pure positive energy. They're doing this out of a place of love. There's a lesson maybe that I haven't learned yet and this is something that I'm progressing to learn so this doesn't happen again i feel like some of you, there's a lot of resistance in your vibration with the three of air it doesn't, I, don't, I don't get a good vibe from that one let me just double check to see if i have missed anything okay so it says the tarot mirrors our experiences in life and that includes the moments that fills us with sadness the three of air shows us that there's something in our lives that needs to be healed we have suffered a loss or perhaps we're still haunted by pain from the past. The two keys to recovering from our sorrows are time and forgiveness. Some experiences just take time to heal from the past and it is best that we allow ourselves this time. Forgiveness of others or others is, forgiveness of ourselves or others is also the important step to finding happiness again. Well, that put a dampener on the mood, didn't it? And what the heck is the lovers card for? Is it like... I feel like some of you are going through a really, really tough time in your partnerships. The lovers... Remember, this is a general reading, so not all of these cards may apply to you. But I feel like this totally hit the, no, the nail on the head for a lot of you. I know that the full moon is the best time to practice forgiveness and I know a lot of you will using my forgiveness heals guided visualization during that time but if this definitely hit something with you then I would definitely be listening to that forgiveness heals a little bit more regularly okay I don't feel like I'm meant to use the other cards I feel like we're meant to just I know that's kind of like a bad note to lean on, but I didn't want to pull too many. Okay, let me just pull one more from the tarot. 
Oh, okay, thanks very much. Justice. So I feel like some of your relationships have ended. Um, and it wasn't really what you expected, but you kind of knew that it was going to happen, but you weren't really... You're preparing yourself, but you can never really prepare yourself until you're actually in the moment and then you're feeling those emotions. The Justice card is... It says, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. I feel like this one here is also like the Lover's card. It doesn't necessarily mean like you are in the romantic relationship. I feel like the people that are single, I feel like this, the blockage is relating to the heart chakra. Maybe you have been in a relationship which didn't really serve you and you're kind of like pissed off at the world going like, Bleh! and the angels are saying, it's like, okay, do what is fair and right. You don't need to overstep the mark because every, Ooh, and then I heard that song. Every every move you make, every step you take, I da -da -da, every single day, da -da -bum, oh, I'll be watching you. I feel like that's karma. I, that's just what I see with that one. It's like justice. It's like sometimes you don't need to set out and be like, I'm gonna slash your tires. I don't feel like it's that energy. It's just kind of like, you know, it's like, because this person has treated you like this, it's like, it's divinely orchestrated. Which is totally messed up because when you're in the thick of it and you're in like an emotionally abusive relationship, you're like, why are you so horrible to me? But the angels are saying, it's like, you know, justice will prevail. You don't need to do anything because karma is going to step in and will um, provide like a, uh, what do you call it? A divine intervention for that person it's like you don't need to worry about them the most important thing that you can do my heart is hurting by the way when I'm reading this it's kind of started off really good and then it kind of was like real serious so this week is kind of interesting um, I think that's why it's also the perfect time to just breathe and say you know what I am where I am and it's okay what was the affirmation? I breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. So what could you do to, to make the situation better? It could be give back from a place of love. It could be giving yourself, I feel like self, like love heals all blockages. And my heart is just hurting. And I just feel like the mood's just like totally just be like, Blah. So I'm so interested to see what this means for you guys. It could be so many things. The lover's card could be you're in a relationship, things are going to this new level. It could be you're hurt from the past. Love heals all blockages. And when you have this pure, positive, childlike energy and this joy, you're in a state of higher of a higher frequency. When you're in that, that's when your angels can communicate with you. If you're having trouble listening to your guidance, then book a private reading so I can help you hear that guidance for you. So then you can start moving forward, releasing that blockage. And so you can literally put on your big girl boots or your big boy boots and just strap down the street. And it's like you're in your power. It's like, you know, the shit's hit the fan, but you know, it's okay because this is preparing me for what I've asked for. Oh my God. Well, I wasn't expecting that. So I just wanted to let you know that if you are going through a different, difficult time, please seek guidance and help from those people around you. Maybe you just need a cuddle. Like I can't go through the screen and give you a cuddle, but if I could, you know that I would. And I just wanted to send you so much love and just know that during this time, I just feel like this is like this new, this ending to this chapter, but it is amazing because what is around the corner is better than you have ever expected. And I know a lot of you have been like stuck in a situation for like years and even tens of years. And just know that like, this is the time. Oh, I heard a song where it's like you release, um, Damn it, I lost the song. What was the song, Angels? Ha, huh, and then I heard yourself, uh, that song. Respect yourself, hey, 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 hey. 
Is that Madonna? Vogue. I have to look at the lyrics to that one. Anyways, okay, my love. Crazy week, crazy week, crazy week. Just breathe with ease and just know that everything is working out for you. This is a week where I would do self-love practices in the morning and at night to make sure that you're coping with the energies associated with this time. Also, go back and have a look at my full moon reading. This is eclipse season. So this is a time where the universe helps you clean up shit that's not working. And also, Mercury is invisible astrologically, which, which um, triggers communication. So there could be something that could be miscommunicated during this time, so be very mindful of that. Um, but I'm not an astrologer, so you'll need to have a look at astrology videos in your sun, moon, and um, rising sign for that. Yeah, I feel like this is the time where, you know, the angels and the universe is kind of like magnifying um, what's not working and how you can move forward and heal. Holy crap, my heart's hurting and my heart's really hurting. Okay, so let's just do a deep breath together. Breathe in, breathe out really hard. Breathe in, breathe out. Just know my love, everything is working out for you. You may not understand what the flip is happening, but just know that everything is gonna be alright, rock a bye. <laughs> Everything is gonna be alright. Who sings that? That's Lullaby or Rockabye? Rockabye. I actually came up in a reading I read for someone like one of my first five clients. How crazy is that? Okay, just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. If you need extra help and guidance and you're flipping out, book a reading and comment below I'll be responding to you guys for the first hour after this reading is live so I can give you clarity and guidance and if I don't catch you in that time then I'll be responding um, on Wednesday between 7 and 8 I feel like I need to go outside and get some fresh air again this is my, my chest is really really tight um, also to help you out listen to my um, heart chakra guided meditation um, I'll link it for you. All right, guys, I love you. Breathe. It's okay. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.